back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am currently on the My WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today I have the first dun 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 haul of pumpkin everything from Trader Joe's for 2020. I got so excited when I walked into Trader Joe's today just to pick up my usual grocery items and I saw that they have a ton of pumpkin things. Some new things from last year, some repeat items that I purchased last year that I've tried in the past, but they have so much pumpkin already. It made me so incredibly excited. It made my heart so happy. In fact, so happy that today I am wearing my fall shirt, my first fall shirt of the season. Peace love and pumpkin spice. So I am ready for fall. I'm ready for pumpkin everything. I will be doing some additional pumpkin hauls from Trader Joe's as they get in more items, but I'm seriously so excited for today's video. And we're gonna do it a little bit differently. I am going to taste test some items, some items that I've never tried before, even some things that I had last year to see if they are as good as they were last year. So there's a few items in today's haul that I wanna taste test. Yeah, I'm so excited. So let's jump into all things pumpkin from Trader Joe's. I had so much fun shopping for pumpkin things today. Now there were a few items that I did not pick up just because they were things that maybe I wouldn't eat or things that maybe I'd like to get later down the road as it gets closer to Halloween and Thanksgiving. So what I'm going to do for the items that I didn't purchase but are still available and may be perfect for you at Trader Joe's that are all things fall and pumpkin, I'll just go ahead and insert some pictures here and tell you a little bit about those items. We'll go over pricing so you kind of know what to expect when you walk into the store. So so let's jump in. So first I want to start with pumpkin bagels. These smell so good. You guys, they smell so spicy and pumpkiny. I'm so excited about these. I actually did not buy these at all last year. So I am pretty darn excited to give these babies a try this year. They are 240 calories per bagel. I am going to go ahead and put points here on the screen for you guys. So I'm excited for these. Troy's excited for these. And there is something I'm going to show you next that I picked up that is going to pair perfectly with these pumpkin bagels. So I can't wait for these. This was one of my all time favorite items last year. This is the Trader Joe's pumpkin cream cheese. This is so good. You guys, this is so good on toast. This is so good by the spoonful. This is so good. And I thought how yummy would this be on these bagels? So I'm excited for this. This is going to be something that I'm going to repeatedly purchase throughout the season because I really truly love it. And I'd like to have one or two on hand before they go out of season because it's incredibly delicious. Seriously, the best flavored cream cheese ever. Next is this pumpkin butter. I also bought this last year and I remember this being really, really delicious. I had this on toast and bagels. Again, would be really good on the pumpkin bagels, but I want to try this for you because I want to make sure that this still lives up to the hype that it had last year. So this is what it looks like. It reminds me a lot of like apple butter, like the consistency and texture of apple butter. And I remember that from last year. I'm excited you guys to try this. I hope it's as good as it was last year. Cheers. That is so good. Okay, it's as good as it was last year. So when I eat it, I definitely get spicy. It is sweet. It actually, to be honest, it reminds me a lot of apple butter with pumpkin spice. That's what it reminds me of. It's really, really delicious. This is something that I like to keep on hand too. Again, you could dip apples in this. That would be amazing. Toast, bagels, yum. So this is a new item this year at Trader Joe's and this is their pumpkin smoothie. So I bought this, I bought everything at Trader Joe's, didn't pay attention to points, calories, ingredients, none of that because I was just on the hunt for all things pumpkin. So when I got in the car, I looked at this calorie wise, it's not bad. It's 130 calories for half of the bottle or 270 calories for the entire bottle, but it has carrageenan, which is an ingredient that I don't eat. However, I want to try this because it does have 11 grams of protein per serving. So there's 22 grams of protein in this bottle. So if you're not concerned about carrageenan and you love pumpkin, this may be a really good protein option for you. I bet this would be delicious in protein coffee. So let's give it a try. So it smells, 
It doesn't really smell very pumpkin-y, so I'm hoping that it tastes a little more pumpkin-y than it smells, so let's try it. Cheers. No, I don't like it. To me, it does not taste pumpkin-y at all. What I taste is like milky. It tastes milky with like the slightest hit of pumpkin. I don't like this. I would not buy this again. I do encourage you to try it. We all have different taste buds, so you may actually really enjoy this, but this is not for me. Next, I went ahead and picked up the pumpkin bread mix. We actually had this last year and loved it. Troy asked me for this when I told him I was going to be picking up my first haul of pumpkin from Trader Joe's. This bread is delicious. It's actually really easy to make. It's the mix two eggs, half a cup of vegetable oil, and water. So what I would do is sub out the vegetable oil for unsweetened applesauce. It's going to lower the calories and points and fat in this a lot, but this pumpkin bread is really good. So if you just want something quick and easy, it would be great with bacon or eggs for breakfast. Definitely pick this up. We loved this last year. Next up are the pumpkin O's. We also got these last year and really, really enjoyed these. These are actually really, really good, and you get a lot of them for the points and the calories. You actually get one and one-third cup for 150 calories and the points here on the screen. I honestly don't even remember what these taste like, so let's try them. Again, see if they're as good as they were last year. So here is what they look like. So they basically look like a Cheerio. Now they are coated with the pumpkin, whatever, that they're coated with. So I remember them being kind of sweet, so let's try them. These are delicious. I mean, I honestly could just eat these on their own. They're really good. They are sweet. They're pumpkin-y. Yes, yes, yes. Now, this is a new item. I actually don't remember seeing this last year. This is the Fall Harvest Salsa. I wish it was organic, but it's not. It says that it's an autumn blend of fruits, veggies, including pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash. So I'm gonna try this. Now they did have these, and I bought these last year, but they had two different chips that would be really good dipped in here. One of them is the fall leaf tortilla chips. I actually bought these last year. They're really, really delicious. We had these on Thanksgiving. That would pair really well with this salsa. They also had a pumpkin tortilla chip, which I also bought last year, and I remember being really, really good. So either one of those would be really good with this salsa, but let's just give it a shot. Let's give it a try. It is 10 calories per serving. When I smell it, it smells like chili. That's like homemade chili. That's what the salsa smells like. So, mm, cheers. That's really, really good, but whoo, it has a kick. So if you are sensitive to spicy, this does have a bit of a kick, but it's really good. It doesn't taste like chili. It's actually a little bit sweet. I taste I taste sweet. I taste tomato. It's really, really delicious. Ooh, I'm excited for this. This would be really good on eggs as well. This is another new item that I don't remember seeing last year, and this is the Trader Joe's Protein Maple Muffin. So this reminds me of the Kodiak. I think Kodiak and Birch Benders make these little like to-go cups of protein muffins. So this has 260 calories and 12 grams of protein. It says here you just add water or milk of your choice, pop it in the microwave, and you have a protein muffin. So obviously I'm not gonna try this, but I'm excited. This would be a really quick and easy breakfast. Again, you could pair this with some eggs or some bacon. This would be a great way to get in some protein, but a super quick and easy and portable breakfast. Next is the spice cider. We bought this last year and we loved this. My husband really liked this. This is excellent warmed up. So if you are a big fan of warmed spice cider, this is really, really good for that. We also used this on Thanksgiving. We popped some fresh oranges that we added cloves to, so you can poke fresh cloves into the oranges. And we put this in the crock pot with the oranges and cloves and it made a really Really, really good warm spice cider be great for Halloween it would just really be great for any time that you want to be cozy and have cider so I picked this up again I am going to try this to make sure again that it lives up to what it was last year Ooh, it smells so good yum okay let's try it cheers oh yeah that is so good okay so 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 good it's really good even just room temperature 
Again, try it out in the crock pot with the oranges and the cloves, drink it room temperature, put it in the fridge, have it with your breakfast, yum. Now I think they had this item last year, but I did not purchase it, and that is the pumpkin pecan oatmeal. Now I generally only buy my oats organic because they are heavily sprayed with glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup, so I'm a big proponent of organic oats, but they don't have this in organic, and I wanted to try this. So here's the information on this oatmeal. One packet is 190 calories. So it's pretty pricey in calories. It has 14 grams of sugar and four grams of protein. Now it would again be a fast and quick, easy breakfast. You could make overnight oats with this. You could add a protein shake or protein powder and almond milk and bulk up the protein and not add a lot of extra points and calories but I had to get it this year to try it. It just sounds really, really good. And I know that Troy will eat this as well. So we're gonna try this this year, even though it's a little hefty in points and calories, I'm still gonna give it a shot. Here's another new item, at least new to me, and this is the organic, which makes me happy, maple butter, spreadable creamy maple syrup. How good does that sound? I love maple syrup, as you guys know. I want you to take a look at that. You can see that there's a layer of the maple syrup on top of the actual butter, oh yes. Okay, so it's one tablespoon for 50 calories and it does have 13 grams of sugar. Now the only ingredient in here is maple syrup. So that's it. So it's pretty similar to adding regular maple syrup to something. So you could put this on pancakes, in oatmeal. You could put this on or in anything you'd use maple syrup in. Let's try it. Now we all know what maple syrup tastes like, but I'm wondering if this is a little bit different because it does have the syrup and then the solid. So let's try it. Yum. Okay, so I'm gonna stir it up a little bit or the best that I can here with my spoon. Ooh, look at that. Can you guys see? It's like a thicker maple syrup. So I definitely wanna get a little bit of the actual part of it that looks a little bit more like the buttery part. Do you see that? Yum. Okay, let's try it. Cheers. That is so good. This 110% reminds me of those maple candies, the soft or the hard, the ones that literally taste like maple. That is what this is. This is so incredibly delicious. It definitely has a creamier taste than traditional maple syrup. Oh, I'm excited for this. I'm gonna use the heck out of this. This may be an item that I actually buy more than one this year. Next are the pumpkin waffles. Now we did buy these last year. These are really, really delicious. You know what I just thought of? This and this. How good would that be? Let me tell you, I don't even think you would need to add butter if you added this maple spread. Oh my gosh, you guys, how good would that be? So these little toaster waffles are really, really delicious. They are 180 calories for two waffles. They have three grams of sugar and four grams of protein. I picked these up. These are really good, great for kids if you wanna put your kids in kind of a fall spirit. Again, you could add the maple butter to the top of this. You could also pop on the pumpkin cream cheese or the pumpkin butter. Either one of those would be really good on the waffles. But yeah, I remember these from last year. I'm excited to dig into these. Next is another item that I actually bought last year and remember it being incredible, and that is the caramel apple flavored granola. I love granola in general. I remember adding this to yogurt last year and it being absolutely delicious, but we are going to try this. 250 calories for three quarters of a cup. It is definitely calorie heavy, 13 grams of sugar. So lots of sugar and six grams of protein. Mmm, look at that. Big, huge chunks of granola. You can see a lot of the dried apple in there. So we are going to try this again and make sure that again, it's as good as I remember it being last year. Yum, cheers. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Just as good as I remember. It says sweet and tart, crunchy clusters with apple slices, peanuts and pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. Delicious. Delicious, delicious. And I am hoping that I did indeed save the best for last. The hold the cone, the mini hold the cone pumpkin and ginger. What? They did not have these last year. Correct me if I'm wrong because I would have bought these if I would have seen these last year. I love the hold the cones. They're small little mini ice cream cones similar to the drumsticks, just a smaller version. I am gonna open this up and show you guys what they look like. You know what? 
Let's try one. Let's do it. Let's taste it. So this is how they come packaged. Look at these, you guys. <gasps> Don't those look so good? For the sake of the video, and to know if these are as good as they look and sound, let's try them. Cheers. I am in pumpkin heaven. Oh my God, these are so good. Look at the inside, you guys. Look at that. It is like pumpkin pie filling with this really good like white chocolate coating. Oh my God. Decadent. Mm. I'm finishing this. This is so good. I will 100% be buying these all season. In fact, I may stock up on these in my cream cheese before they're gone. Get these. These are absolutely incredible. As I'm finishing this, you guys, Wow. So I read the box actually and it says eight gingery cones filled with pumpkin ice cream uh, and white confectionery coating. It's amazing. There's even a little layer of the white chocolate in the bottom of the cone. Incredible. So I'm super excited about the first haul of 2020 of all things pumpkin from Trader Joe's. Definitely make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on the other pumpkin. I also do holiday hauls where I show you all the goodies for Christmas and the holidays from Trader Joe's. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you're not missing a single video. I am going to show you guys next all of the items that I didn't purchase, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them up here on the screen for you and tell you a little bit about those items in case there's something that you're interested in picking up for yourself. So first is this pumpkin bisque. It says a creamy soup with pumpkin and fall spices. Now it sounds really good, but it was really, really high in calories. It was about 360 calories for the serving, which is way too much. It's not something that I would eat. I don't know that we would like it, so I didn't pick it up. But if you're a bisque person, definitely check it out. And then I saw this pumpkin Danish Kringle. Now to my knowledge, I've never had a Kringle, but this is the pumpkin version. Now I have heard that these fly off the shelf at Trader Joe's. They can't keep them in stock. If you know what a Kringle is, if you're Danish, let me know down in the comments exactly what this is. I may pick it up eventually, but I didn't get it this time because I just had so many other sweet things. It sounds delicious and it is in stock. And to let you know, there was only like four left on the shelf and they were still frozen. So I imagine they even just got put out and they were almost gone already. Then I saw these apple cider donuts. Now these look absolutely incredible. I'm a donut girl, but again, I didn't pick these up. I may do it down the road, but these look really good. You got six of them in the package. Everything apple cider, of course, is fall vibes to the max. So that's another new thing that I saw this week at Trader Joe's. Well, I picked up the mini hold the cones. I saw this Pilgrim Joe's, how cute is that? Pumpkin ice cream, super premium. So now I do eat full fat ice cream. I will probably buy this just to try it once the mini cones. Well, I don't know. I love the mini cones. We'll see. But I saw this ice cream and if you're an ice cream lover and you love pumpkin, this sounds absolutely delicious. So I decided not to pick up any of the teas this year because neither one of them were organic and I've been really focused on organic when it comes to tea and I just have a lot of tea on hand anyways but they did have in a cute little tin the pumpkin spice rubios herbal blend for only a dollar 99 in the tin it this tea is really really delicious and it would be a great gift because it's in this cute little pumpkin tin they also had the other tea for fall which I love 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 and that is the harvest blend herbal tea this is a caffeine free tea great at night before you go to bed it is fall vibes to the max it is spicy it's pumpkiny it's really delicious so if you like that cardamom cinnamon nutmeg you will absolutely love this tea i saw a oat beverage non-dairy oat beverage in maple so this sounds really good as well i'm not the biggest oat milk fan i may try this just for fun maybe in a future grocery haul or a future video but i did see this and i thought that if you are someone that avoids dairy this would be a great option again it is oat Oat milk based and maple flavored which maple anything is amazing i also saw when i picked up the pumpkin bread mix i saw this trader joe's pumpkin pancake and waffle mix i remember getting this last year and it being really really delicious but when i went to check out she mentioned the gluten-free version of this the gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix she said it is amazing that it is better than the regular so if you're going to pick up a pancake mix Per the Trader Joe's employee recommendation, pick up the gluten-free one, but 
The one I had last year, the regular one, was really, really good. They also sell canned pumpkin at an incredible price. I can pay 2 to $3 a can at my local grocery store, and it's only $1.99 at Trader Joe's. Also in the snack section where I found the cute little leaf potato chips that I showed and the pumpkin ones, I found a popcorn. And this is new. I don't remember this last year. This is the maple flavored and sea salt kettle corn. Doesn't that sound delicious? So I'm feeling like it's going to be salty sweet with a hint of maple, which sounds really really good that's a great combination so if you're a popcorn lover you love maple definitely pick this one up so that's everything that I have for you today from my first pumpkin haul of 2020 I can't wait for the next one I think this taste test is pretty fun let me know down in the comments if you guys like to see me taste test it in real time and let you know what I think and let me know if you've picked up anything pumpkin from Trader Joe's yet this year again make sure that you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video down in the description box check out my nutrition coaching I do offer weight loss and nutrition coaching I have several options for you to help you reach your healthy lifestyle goals my website is in the description box along with links discount codes to my favorite things and the link to head over and join my tribe my Jen's WW tribe public Facebook group we'd love to have you join us over there so check out that description box give this video a big thumbs up if you love these Trader Joe's hauls and in fact also down in the comments let me know if there are any other types of Trader Joe's related videos that you would like to see thank you guys again so much for watching Happy fall, y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.